Okay, everybody. So I'm just going to say hello to anyone who's watching later on on YouTube. Grab yourself some weights. We're going to do... So this is suitable for my breast cancer ladies as well. But obviously make sure if you've not lifted weights before that you don't go too heavy too quick. So mine are three kilos, but you might just want to start with like a one. Sometimes it's nice to have different weights as well. So a bicep one is much easier, so you'll probably be able to lift heavier with a bicep than you will with an abduction. So we're not going to lift our weights just yet, we're going to warm up. So keep the shoulders down and we're just going to take one big circle. Oh. So close your eyes, do five more and just see, can you, not see, just hear, can you hear any clicking? So all our movement, shoulders are so important, particularly as we're getting older, that we don't lose strength and mobility through it. One more. And then the other side, and just by closing our eyes, we're just helping kind of our nervous system. And three more. For two. And for one. And it's, you know, a summer season and all that strappy dresses. So take our arms out and then palms up and then come up into the ball of the foot and lower. Let's do five more. Good. And for four. Lower. For three. <laughs> We've got a little memory class today. Two. And one. Well done. So we're just warming up everything first. And then just take your arms into a front raise. Try not to let the shoulders hike up. So shoulder blades down. And then we're retracting. And then take it out. So squeeze the scapulas together. So then shoulder blades squeeze together. Since we've got Elsa in the class, we'll use some technical terms. Elsa probably knows that the shoulder blades are called scapula because she's got very good genes. And relax. Well done. Good. Okay, so we're going to go straight into weights today. So let's pick your weights up. And because it's Pilates and not bad, we'll just do 12 of each. So take one foot forward. And we're just going to lift the one into a bicep curl. Nice controlled. And then we're going to lift the leg for one. Keep the leg down. Lift for three. And four. For five. Six. Keep that core engaged, drawing the navel in towards the spine. For eight. Ten. And twelve. Well done. Switch sides. So again, draw the tummy in. Keep the foot down for one. Lift it for two. Keep it down for three. Lift for four. Keep that navel into the spine. For six. Six more. For five. Three. And one. Well done. Good work. Okay. We're going to tip it into nice wide position. So try and keep your chest elevated. We don't want to do all this rounding. So shoulder blades down. You're just going to go down and then pull back. Down, pull back. Keep that tummy in again. That navel to spine. For four. Eight more. For eight. So the shoulder can do an awful lot of movement. Yes, of course, it's got so much movement like the hip, it can lack a little bit of stability. So the more we can strengthen it, the better. And for four, three, two, and one. Well done, excellent. Okay, just place one weight down. Take the opposite foot to the arm with the, the hand with the weight in to one side. Shoulder blades down. Try and not let the shoulders hike up. So we're just going to take it and lower it down slowly. And for two, for three, so we've got 12 of these and you'll notice these are a little bit harder than the other ones. And for eight, I'm out of breath, I've been running about like a loon. Cleaned both my bathrooms this morning already. And six, five, four, 
Yeah, good. Three, so really lower. Two. And one. Beautiful. The other side. Shoulders down. And lift. And two. Yeah, depth is in Cornwall, having the best weather ever. Jen's in Girona. Angela's in London. Yeah. And six. Five. This used to be my business class, didn't it, Friday morning? But now it's bars. Crazy after this. Three. Two. And one. And I like to do them unilaterally because it gives you an idea if you've got one side stronger than the other, which most people do. And then just go into as though you're doing a lunge. But take your weight forward into that front knee. And then you want to try and bring your weight towards your bra strap. Keeping your shoulders down. Take your arm backwards. Hold it there. And all you're doing is bending at the elbow. You're bringing the weight to the side of the chest. Not in front like that. It's not this move. Yeah, it's very controlled. So back and then bend. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. So we'll work a lot today on kind of improving bone density. So we'll do some balance work as well. Yeah, bones get weaker as we get older. And for four, three. So anyone who's gone through, you know, going through menopause or, sorry, Elsa, <laughs> two and one. I'm sure having a med couple of medics in the family should be used to all this talk. And then again, shoulders down the other side. So out and in. And two. Ten more. Ten. Oh, 
last one, breath in. Soften the front knee and gently up we go. Ah, beautiful, well done. Right, I'm gonna keep an eye on the time. So we're gonna keep our foot on the floor. So one foot on the floor, imagine they're your toes and you're gonna spread them wide. Push the big toe into the mat, little toe into the mat and the two corners of the heel. And we're gonna come up into my favorite. We should all be very good at this now. So if you feel a bit wobbly, then take your foot to the inner calf or even your big toe on the mat. And then just hold that position. We're just gonna hold today. Take some deep breaths in. And out. Four more breaths. Three more. Two more. Again, increasing that bone density. All balance work is really good. Last one. Take arms overhead. Out, breath down. Namaste. And then the leg you've been stood on, just place it to the back. Take the hands on the knee and drive that heel into the floor. So again, stretching out the calf muscle, the particularly the big belly of the calf, that gastrocnemius muscle that gets super tight. And just hold, 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 hold. And then we're gonna straighten the front leg. We're gonna take the chin to chest, the hips come backwards, so push your bum back and then just gently come down. Again, you will feel, I would imagine, quite a lot of tightness in the back of the leg. Let the head just hang. Don't worry if you can't reach the floor. Just place the hands on the shin. And just again, just deep, let the breath just help the stretch. Soften the front knee and gently up we come. We might go to bed on uh, Sunday room. And then come back to centre. So the leg you were stood on, you now want to stand on the other leg. I think that is correct. Yeah. And then just hold. And again, take a little gaze. Find somewhere. I often find like a knot in the wood. Or take yourself to your favourite beach. Take a breath in. If you're one of the strange people in life that don't like beaches, then take yourself somewhere else that you do like. Well done, last one. Take a breath in as we go overhead. And down to the heart on an exhale. <laughs> well done. And then again, take the leg you were stood on to the back. Really drive that heel down. Most people have tight calves. If you have particularly tight calves, it's worth just dropping the heel off of the bottom of the stairs as well and that will stretch the Achilles and just hold and then straighten the front leg, chin to chest, hips backwards, gently down, letting the head just hang, feeling that lovely and again notice does one leg feel tighter than the other? Last one, breath in, soften the front knee and gently we stack back up. Gorgeous.
better. So I'm just going to give a rider on this next one. Not, not for you, Ruth, but for anyone out there who's watching who uh, my um, lady is my breast can recovering from breast cancer. Just be careful with the holding plank, uh, particularly if you've got lymphedema. You should always have your sleeve on. Um, you can if you do it's good a little bit of weight bearing, but if you don't want to just come into a child's pose where you sit your bum on your heels. Otherwise, follow me. So chin to chest, take the hips backwards, the weight forwards. Remember, we're working on preventing osteoporosis. So gently send in the sit bones up towards the ceiling. Have a little rock. Forwards into the ball, backwards into the heel. Just notice how it feels when the weight is not evenly distributed over the centre of the feet. I love this. And then just have a side to side. So just gently sway in side to side. If you can't reach the floor, obviously you can just put the hands on the forehead or to the back of the legs. Yeah, and then see if you can have a little circle on the spot. Does that make sense? You're just swaying round. And again, you might feel tighter down one butt cheek, one set of hamstrings, circle the other way. Oh, yes. So I can feel it in my right leg, right kind of almost underneath my butt. And then walk it out. So this is where you can, if you want, if you don't want to wait there, you can just come into a beautiful shell stretch like that. Otherwise, if you want a little bit of strength and a little bit of core control, push the mat. So push into the mat. So almost like you're pushing the mat away. Lift the breastbone so you're not dropping the breastbone. Lift the breastbone. Almost do a little rotation of the shoulders. Keep the heels towards the floor. We're just going to hold for another 10 seconds. Yeah. So three, two, one. We're going to keep in that position, but we're going to raise our hips really nice and high. And then we're going to walk the hands back a little bit. And then we're going to draw the heels to the floor and just bounce them away. So we're going to raise the heels, send them down. Raise, send them down. Raise, send them down. Two and one, and then we're just going to walk it back into that plank position again, pushing the mat away again. Really good for loading the wrists. Yeah, the wrists and the ankles are generally broken quite a bit, so hold. So, three, two, one. Well done, nothing crazy. And then bring the knees onto the floor and sit your bottom onto the heels. Again, give your hands a little bit of an in and out. So just, you know, bring the fingers to the palms and wave them away. Just to release any tension. And just rest. Take some gorgeous, I'm not going to speak to you for the next minute. Just take some beautiful inhalations, exhalations. towards the feet into almost that fetal position you can turn your head slightly if you don't like the forehead on the mat again some people love this position some people don't like it so if you don't just take the hands back out in front and just let's take four more deep in exhalations Last one. And because it's all about trying to keep the upper back really strong today, we're going to create that lovely military posture so our shoulders are not hiking forward, which can be really aging. 
and obviously not good for breath because it shortens the pectoral muscles. So we're just going to push the pubic bone down into the mat. So you kind of think about tucking the tailbone a little bit and think about your belly button and imagine there's something very hot on it and you're going to draw the tummy in towards your spine. And then we're just going to glide the shoulder, sorry, the shoulders down and the elbows down towards the waist. Keep that core engaged. You can squeeze your bum if you feel you need to. And then just lift your chest and hover your forearms away as well. And you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. So this will create that length roof in the front of the chest. Hold. And you're right, it's scary, but yeah, the older we get, the weaker, if you don't move, if you don't work your shoulders, they will become very weak. And things like holding a heavy bag will become really difficult. My mum sometimes gives me her bag and she goes, God, it's so heavy and it feels like nothing to me. So yeah, and then just take your hands, sorry, your arms back or so your hands are near your legs, turn your palms up to ceiling. And again, just keep drawing that tummy in, squeezing the scapula together into dark position. Just hold. Keep drawing the tummy in. And slowly down. And just take the head onto the side of the hands and just have a little windscreen wipe side to side. <sighs> I love my Friday morning. And then we're just going to lengthen the right leg. And all we're going to do is just grab, well I'm saying all we're going to do, some people find this hard. Grab the left foot with the left hand and pull that heel. See if you can touch your heel to the uh, bum. Push your pubic bone down into the mat to increase the stretch. So uh, think about tucking the bottom under. If you really want to stretch, you can lift that thigh away. Oh, I can really feel that. I did some leg raises last night. Oof. And then switch. So again, right heel, you might be tighter on this side, you might be less tight. Tuck the tailbone, yeah, you bump, and then lift the thigh away. Beautiful, well done. And then just take your hands so that they're near your shoulders, into like cactus hands. Push your pubic bone down, see if you can just lift up. You might only want to lift your chest to there, or you might want to come into full cobra. And just stretching the front of the belly. Or the front of the body, should I say, not the belly. And beautiful, come back and then come to lie on your side. Let me just check time. Yeah, brilliant. We're just going to do it till about 10 past quarter past today. So we're going to do some side leg because again, the glute is the biggest muscle and we want to keep the bum strong to protect the lower back. So lift up your bottom waist so you should feel a gap there. Send the top foot away from the bottom hand. And we're just going to, we're not doing loads, we're going to lift for 10, we're going to lift for 9, you can take your arms over if you want, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're going to point the foot, circle for 8. Circle for seven, four, six, four, five, four, 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 three, four, two, four, one. And then we're going to bring the leg back of the midline, really drop the tummy in. We're going to drop and lift again. Drop for three, for four. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Just hold that position. Let the right leg just rest. 
and then we go over, so in this position, your bottom knee's in line with the mat, and now we're going to take that top leg, so the thigh's in line with the hip bone, and you're just going to bend the knee, yeah, and we're just going to lift and lower, no we're not, we're going to lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift, so this gets a little bit more into the big glute muscle, not the side ones, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, well done, beautiful, just come over onto your back, so the leg that you were lifting and lowering, take the foot on the knee, and you can either leave it there if you feel really tight in the bum, or you can lift it away, use the hand to bring the foot down and send that knee away. Just hold. Beautiful. So I've done my left leg, guys. So remember which one you've done. So I'm going to do my right next because we're just going to do a little bit of abdominal work while we're on our back. So what I want you to do is imagine you're doing a bridge and your heels are close to your bum and then you're just going to walk your feet away a little bit. So that tray of imaginary drinks on your tummy is nice and stable. You're not spilling the drinks forward so you've got this big gap and you're not washing the lower back into the mat. So you've got that nice neutral spine, a little gap underneath the lumbar spine and ribs are closed. We're going to take our hands, we're going to interlink our fingers underneath our head, thumbs into the nape of the neck. And our elbows out wide, chin to chest, draw the navel again in towards the spine and lift up, but try and lift onto the base of the shoulder blades and then lower just onto the tip. And then again, so don't bring the head down and lower. And again. And lower. And lower. Eight. Seven, it's almost like a pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, come back down and then lift the right leg into tabletop and then the other leg. Again, push the rib cage down, lift the head, chin to chest. Elbows wide and go into single leg chest lift. If you don't like the head away from the mat, feel free to bring it back down. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six.
direction, scissor, helicopter, back up. Just keeping that mobility through the shoulder area. I love this. I always think of Jenny when I do this because she loves this move. And you take it for granted sometimes if you've got good shoulder mobility and flexibility, but you see people often in class that really struggle with taking their arm out. So go easy. And the last one. And then get over onto your other side if you've remembered which leg you did. Mine was left, I'm going to do right. So however you want to get over, if you want to do a roll up, chin to chest, ribs down, forward, knee step. And swim on to the other side. And then the last one, and then we'll finish. Slightly short session. Got to write a list for my son to go take my mum to the supermarket. Uh, before class. So lift up the bottom waist, draw the tummy in, the sun is shining, all is good in the world. Lift and lower, or lift and lower. There are three, there are four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ten, hold. Circle one, two, three, four. Keep that waist lifted. I got one leg stronger than the other. My right one is so much stronger than my left. And then bring it slightly back of the midline without changing the shape of the back. So you're really working the bum and stretching the hip flexor. Drop, lift. Good, bend the knee, drop, lift, drop, lift. 11 and 12, well done. Come on to your back. Did we pull that in? We might have pulled that in. Apologies if we did, guys. But just into that glute stretch. Push the knee away. Lift up the bottom foot. Keep pushing into that knee. And then, only because I had a beautiful mum and baby class yesterday, it just reminded me of the baby. So just lift up, lift the other leg, and then take one hand and thread it underneath the knee. Yeah, can you see? So that's going underneath, and then the other way, into happy baby. And the baby's make this look so easy. And then just have a little rock around. You can try and take the legs out a little bit. One, two, one. And then gently down and then take the soles of the feet together. Just let the knees come out to the side, little butterfly. And to finish, we're just going to do two mobility bridges. So just bring the heels in towards the bottom, shins underneath, chin to chest. Let's take a breath in, gently roll the lower back into the mat. Start lifting your bottom, lifting your lower back, your mid back. Sending the hips high, the knees along. You're only on your shoulder blades, not your neck, so you've got this nice ski slope. Take a big breath in at the top. Gently come down, bone by bone. Try and come down as slow as you can. Imagine your spine is making a full imprint in the sand before you go back to neutral. Notice I always have a sand theme. 
And then take a breath in. Gently roll the lower back again into imprints that lift in your bottom, lift in your lower back, your mid back, send in the knees nice and long. So again, you've got this ski slope. Take a big breath in, big as you can. All the way out as we come back down. Lengthen the left leg, bring your right knee into chest. And grab the back of the right leg. Just flex and point the foot, flex, point, flex, point, in, out, in, out, circle, circle back, the other side, knee in, back of the leg, flex, point, flex, point, Flex, point, in, out, in, out, two circles, two circles back, and then just gently over onto your front to do three cow to cats. So stick your bum in the air, stretch the front of the body, take a breath in, keep your head where it is and start moving from the bottom as you start rounding, rounding, rounding. Letting the chin come to chest the other way. Back into cat. Round into cat. And last one. And then just tuck the toes, bring your hands back to them bent knees and softly up we go. Oh, and that was lovely. Thank you guys.